Hello everybody and welcome to the first in this series uh, where we're going to be looking at this. This is my Compton Cinema Organ project. This is the Rialto Returns. <laughs> This organ was originally built in 1931 by the John Compton Organ Company Limited of uh, Chase Road, North Acton in London here at the UK. It is job number A132 and it was installed in the newly built uh, Rialto Super Cinema in Blackburn. It was originally a seven rank instrument and it had uh, a few oddities. It had a synthetic clarinet which I believe was borrowed from one of the string ranks and then uh, later on it, it had a muted trumpet fitted to uh, increase the spec a little bit. The Rialto Super Cinema in Blackburn was designed by the architect firm from Rochdale called Butterworth and Duncan. Uh, it consisted of, uh, it had holophane lighting throughout, it had a 35 foot wide proscenium, um, it had a fully equipped stage and it also had a cafe for its patrons. Uh, speaking of patrons, why not consider following the channel on Patreon? Uh, for a small amount of money per month, about £2 a month, you get access to all sorts of uh, exclusive content and some behind the scenes footage and all the money will go towards the project and other projects that we're going to be doing on this channel, but more of that later. The Rialto was taken over by Odeon in 1957 and then it was renamed as the Odeon Cinema Blackburn in 1959. Uh, the organ stayed there until 1964 when it was removed, taken away from the uh, cinema. Um, a lot of the organs uh, across the UK and indeed the United States were being ripped out in the 1960s and 70s. They just weren't used anymore, they weren't needed. Uh, the silent film era had been over by decades and everyone had a television so people didn't need to go to the cinemas to view newsreels and things like that. Um, the organs were used less and less and as I say sadly a lot of them were taken out. Uh, this one, uh, as, as you can tell because it's here, didn't go for scrap at first. It went to a house in Bolton uh, with the pipework, it all went with it, and it stayed at the house uh, until 1996 when it was removed again, um, except this time the pipework apparently was unusable and was scrapped. Um, and it was parted out, so the, the console went down to the south coast, I believe. Uh, some of the bits went to a local uh, a chap in the local town of St. Helens, uh, just down the road from here, as, as a matter of fact. And um, I think some of the chests went to, um, went to uh, Barnsley and places like that. So the organ was parted out, I'm afraid. So it doesn't have its pipework anymore. But no matter, because thanks to the power of Hapwerk, we're going to transform this into a virtual instrument. As you can see from the original photographs and what this looks like now, this is not the original spec. This spec has been enlarged. As I said, it was seven ranks. This is now going to be 14, maybe 15 ranks by the time we've finished. But because there's no pipe work, then it can all just be contained within this box, which is, um, well, certainly easier. Um, and I, you know, I don't think my neighbors would like it too much if I had pipes a chamber built on the roof and all that kind of thing. When I got the console it was in an absolutely shocking state. Um, it invented, The console at some point ended up in Lincolnshire and uh, I think it had been mistreated for many years actually because it'd been, it, it was clear that it had been sat in water for a long time and um, I said the, the ground frame had all warped, a lot of these the decorative panels had been broken and they'd, they'd split and everything had started coming apart, the plywood had started to separate, the stop units which we'll see at a closer view in another video they were in a terrible state, they actually started to go rusty and the, the dust build up was just, just immense. All the back of the pedal board was cracked however luckily I found another one which, which can be used and uh, as I said there was no innards left in it, all the setter had gone, the tag board had gone, there was no wiring in it so um, it, it was just an empty shell which for someone like me that's great because it means that we can now build it from the ground up if you like so every single bit of this has now been stripped down, repainted, when I say stripped down it was actually burned off with a blowtorch, there was that much paint on it
The first job, obviously, was to get it here. And I didn't hire a van, um, so I just went down in my car, down to the Midlands to pick it up, flat packed it all, put it in the car, um, and drove it all the way back here. And uh, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't tell, I didn't tell my dad about it, and, and just turned up with it. Uh, as you can see here, he doesn't look that happy about it, but uh, he's come round to it now. I think he sort of understands what I'm trying to do. So, you know, it's not going anywhere. After it came here, the f one of the first things we did was we took everything off it. Now, it was flat packed, I know, but all the units were still on the stop rails, and so we took them off, and you can see from these photographs that just the amount of dust and, and rot that had built up all over it. And then all the stops were cleaned uh, in the sink, and the stop units were all spread, like they had an ergon, and like we... I used an air gun to clean the stop units and we, you know, basically air blasted all the gunk off and used a very small paintbrush to get into the nooks and crannies of it. And we'll take a closer look at the stops at a later video. This is just like an outline of what we did. And then uh, once they were cleaned and once the stop rails had been filled, repainted, uh, they were put back in and we built the console back up on its back and then lifted it up again and then we could bolt everything back onto it. Because Compton, uh, everything's sort of built on like a frame. There's like a like a frame within this, and everything sort of bolts onto it. Um, kind of. I mean, like you, the sides, they were the two separate sides, and everything sort of fitted on those. And a, there was a cross piece and all this kind of thing. So we were managed to build it back up from that. Uh, and then once it was all up on its feet. We put the manual. We we took the manuals, uh, stripped them down, got rid of all the nasty felt which was underneath, which looked like it had been eaten by moths. Uh, cleaned the keys. Now, luckily, I was managed. I managed to source two Compton uh, manuals from a, from a. It was actually a, a Compton organ that had been chucked in the skip um, by a church down. Um, I forgot where it was now. It was down West Midlands, um, West Midlands maybe maybe slightly near Birmingham, and. Um, I was driving past in a car and saw, saw the console sticking out of a skip. I thought, oh, we'll have that. So we took the bits off it, um, and that formed the two lower manuals. Now, the top one is made up of the best of the keys that it originally had. Um, and they're not the best, but they are actually now brightening up. The longer it's spending in the sunlight, which it does get quite a bit of sunlight in here, actually, it's actually brightening the keys up. They're not as yellow as they were, as they were so that's all good. Uh, so we clean the keys up, clean the contacts, put them back, and they're now they need to be they need to be set properly now. But they they're in, and they're they're a lot better than they were, believe me. Um, because clearly uh, it'd been sat in rain and and it'd been sat in the damp for ages, and basically all this area here had all corroded off. The the sharps uh, the sharps and flats they'd all come off. Uh, some of the key tops had separated and come off, and it was just a mess. So I, were, I was really lucky. To get hold of those two manuals and then make up the top one from the best of what we had and it's just it's worked out quite well actually as you can see it's got more pistons than the original spec and that's because again because there's no setter and because it's all going to be digital and because it's all going to be done by a computer system uh it, it you know i didn't need to be limited so i've gone for 10 10 and 6 and that matches a certain organ in lancashire yeah well, I hope you found it interesting. Uh, we'll be making more videos on it um, in the coming weeks. Uh, I want to, like say, I've got some more stops to do, so we'll be definitely doing a video on that. And hopefully there'll be more mechanical things in general to look at. Uh, I know there's a, there's a big winding engine from a, from a coal mine down the road, which I might go and film, and we can make a video of that. But if you have liked the video today, and if you like the content that's on the channel, then please like and subscribe, um, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video, and why not follow us on Patreon, and it would really help us out and help the project along, and um, you know it would all be down to you. So uh, thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time, bye bye for now.